Hi, I'm Anne from Game Like a Mother. Today I'm going to provide a rules overview and review of O-Trio. It's ages 8 and up, 2 to 4 players, and it takes 20 minutes. Let me show you how to play. The goal of the game is to be the first to get an O-Trio. There are three different ways to get an O-Trio. You can either line up three same sized and colored pieces in a row, or you could get three pieces of one color in a row from big to small or small to big. It would not work if it was like this with the little one in the middle. They have to be in order. Or you can get a large, small, and medium piece of one color in the same space. Here is the game setup. If you're playing a two player game, each player would select two colors that are opposite each other on the board. You can win with either of your colors. The youngest player would go first, we'll say that's red, and you take turns placing pieces, one per turn, into the playing area, alternating between your two colors. And then the first to get an Otrio would be the winner. If you're playing with three or four players, each player would select a color. If only three are playing, one color would sit out the game. So if no one picked green, then you would only play with these three. And it's the same thing. We'll say red is still the youngest. So the youngest player can go first. And then you, the different players would take turns placing pieces one per turn into the playing area until somebody has an Otrio. So that's how to play Otrio. The target demographic for this game is it is a family game that is for everyone from your five-year-old to grandma and grandpa. Literally everyone can enjoy this game, which is pretty fabulous. Uh, the rule complexity is very easy, which helps get it to the table and makes it so it's just an instant win. Uh, when you can explain rules in half a minute, uh, that makes it really easy to get people to play the game with you. How competitive is the game? It is medium uh, level competitive. Uh, only one person can win and you're actively blocking each other's moves and where you're trying to go, but no one is capturing other people's pieces or removing them from the board. So while it is competitive, it's not one that seems to end with people being overly upset um, because of the manner in which uh, the gameplay works. Uh, the replay value is high because it just has such a universal appeal and is so easy to learn. My one complaint when you're playing with kids for this is a lot of times uh, if there's a good theme that will grab them and get them into the game. And this is very pretty, but it doesn't have a theme, uh, which is which is good in some ways. It makes it so it is uh, universally appealing to a lot of different people. But to get a kid in, sometimes it can make it a little harder. Uh, but on that note, similar games I would recommend are uh, Goblet Gobblers. If your kid kind of likes this game, but uh, would like to have something that has, that will draw them in a little bit more. Goblet Gobblers has like cute little monsters that, and it's a, essentially the same kind of gameplay, like a variation of tic-tac-toe. And they have just three different size pieces like this, and you're trying to get uh, three in a row. So it's very similar, but uh, very cute. And then the other game I'd recommend if you like this is Shut the Box is a, a very old game, but it's kind of made a comeback recently. And it's a similar kind of feel where it's just really to set up and really quick and easy to set up and play, but it's just really fun and good for all ages, just like this. So we've really been enjoying Otrio. There's a great travel size version of this game if you're looking for something like that. And I hope you go and check it out. Thanks so much and see you next time from Game Like a Mother.